Take the chain off. Yeah, what's up? Did you hear about Lonnie and Corey? Yeah, what happened? Oh, you know, Corey, how she's always gone in the beauty shop and uh, just expects Lonnie just to drop everything and wait on her hand and foot just because they happen to be best friends. She thinks that uh, she's owed that, you know? And really, I think it's a bit too much. She just really doesn't seem to uh, take responsibility too well, you know? She needs to grow up a little bit as far as I'm concerned. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I don't know the story, and I, I, um, I really don't like to gossip that much. Um, I like Corey, and I like Lonnie, and um, I hate to think that they're uh, on the falling out. Uh, well, they kind of had an argument in, in the girl up and die at the beauty shop. Um, there was customers coming in, and Corey was so ecstatic about her hair. And, uh, what do you mean about her hair? Well, like I tried to tell you, she came in the beauty shop yesterday, and she expected to, uh, get her hair done. And, of course, Lonnie just couldn't drop everything. She had a haircut, a permanent, and two dyes. And uh, she just said, you're, you're either going to have to sit and wait in RB at least four or five hours or come back or whatever. But, you know, I just don't have the time right now. And Lonnie said, you know, just go ahead and do the best you can. But, I, you know, I can hurry, but I, I got customers, paying customers I got to take care of. Yeah, I understand that. So what's the deal? Oh, well, anyhow. Since Lonnie couldn't do her, Corey went to the mall, and uh, she uh, decided to go in there and get her hair cut. And boy, did they make a mess of it. Oh, really? Why? What do you mean? Oh my gosh. It looks horrible. I mean, I feel so sorry for the girl, but at the same time, kind of serves her right. Oh, I don't wish no ill on anybody. I know, Tachina, you're just the sweetheart. And I try to be. <laughs> I just try to think right and do right. And yeah. Well, you're lucky. You've got that pretty streak in your hair, and you look good in that green outfit, and, you know, you always, you're just so perky and cute. Well, thank you. It's very nice. I appreciate that. Sometimes I don't think I look that great. Oh, trust me, Tachina, you always look good. Oh, well, anyhow, her hair, oh, it's a fright, but like I said, I think she deserved it. Oh, come on now. Don't talk like that. I kind of feel sorry for Corey. She never did have a good life. You know, her parents never treated her right, and she never had a lot of things given to her. She had to work for everything she has, and... I mean, her mom didn't support her, and her dad, he was never home. He was too busy traveling, and he never gave her, paid much mind to her. So when she met Lonnie and they become best friends, I think that's very important to her, and she looks up to Lonnie, and, and I think that's great that friends look up to each other. Well, I do too, Tachina, but, you know, there is a limit. Um... We shouldn't always uh, just expect somebody to be there for us. We have to be responsible. We have to be adults. We are adults. We are 24 years old. <sighs> yes, but don't tell nobody I'm 24, okay? <laughs> All right, did you know I won't tell anybody you're 24? Oh, my. Um, jeez. Oh, I just don't know. So what what happened? Well, then Celine come in, and of course uh, Lonnie and her were talking about it, and Corey was talking to Celine about 
her messed up with her hair and Lonnie wouldn't take care of her and she was boo-hooing and she's practically in tears and it just got to be a little much. And so um, Corey went home. Well, what's the big deal? Can't she just get her hair done tomorrow or something? Now she has this hot date with Rush. Oh, you mean the dancer? That ballroom dancer? Oh my goodness, he is so fine. Oh my gosh, I love him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Corey's got him. Uh, we don't have a chance in heck. I don't know what he sees in her. Well, it's kind of funny, but some people see things in people that other people don't see, and I think it's kind of special. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Well, anyhow, she went home, and um, Lonnie uh, decided to visit her that night and try to do something with her hair. And uh, Selena was there, and uh, Selena was, you know, she was cracking up. I mean, she'd look at her hair, then she'd start laughing. And then that really made Corey upset. But the more upset she got, the more Selene laughed. And she said, you know, we'll look back on this someday and think it's funny, but right now it isn't funny. But call your boyfriend, tell him you got company and go out another time. And she said, no, I can't do that because it took him two months to get these reservations and it would just break his heart. So, and then Lonnie came over and the three of them talked a little bit and Selene left. And, Lonnie did the best she could with her hair, and she said, you know, I got it cut down, and it's not spiky like it was, and it's doable for tonight, and, and if you don't think you like it, and I'm sure he's going to think it's fine, and um, why don't you just go with it like that? I, th I think it looks really cute on you. It's, it looks really nice with your complexion and, and your eyes, and it, you're... I think you're petite and you look good like that. And uh, Corey said, okay, I, I, I guess I'll take your word for it. You're my best friend. And Lonnie said, you've got that right, honey. I'm your best friend, but you just got to realize that I I have other people in my life and I, I have a job and it would be nice maybe if you found a job and that you could pay for getting your hair done, cut, dyed, whatever you want done, you know, you expect me to supply all the stuff and, and do it, and it's getting to be mundane. Now, I can understand where she's coming from. Yes, she's, Lana's worked hard to uh, get where she's at, and she didn't have anybody to help her in any way. No, that's for sure. She didn't, and she's a sweetheart, and she does, she does a lot for everybody and anybody. She's She's a giver. She's a sweetie. Corey's a taker. Lonnie's a giver. And, yeah, well, sometimes it takes one that gives and one that takes to kind of balance it out, don't you think? Beth, I think that's probably what you need to do in friendship. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I never thought about it that way. Oh, well, anyhow, I have to rush. I have to go do some errands for the neighbor next door. And, um, but I've seen, you know, I just thought I'd catch up on what's going on. And I appreciate that. Beth, you have a good day. You too. Love you.